One of the major advances over the past five or 10 years in breast cancer has been trying to take the patient to the operating room as few times as possible. One of the things that's often done now is when women choose to have a unilateral or a bilateral mastectomy is to have the reconstruction at the same time as the mastectomy rather than delaying that reconstruction and therefore needing more surgical procedures. A common reconstruction that's done for bilateral mastectomy is at the time of mastectomy to place bilateral tissue expanders. The expanders can be expanded with saline by the plastic surgeon on an every two to three week basis during any of the chemotherapies. The next question is, when, when might one be able to take out the tissue expanders when the expansion has been completed and put in the permanent implants? Most plastic surgeons would prefer to wait until the heavy part of the chemotherapy is completed such that they don't have to worry about things like anemia or low platelet count, which might lead to bleeding, or especially low white count that might lead to infection. In the case of Herceptin, it basically has no marrow toxicity. So some of the regimens that contain Herceptin will contain Herceptin plus the chemotherapy drugs such as Taxotere or Carboplatin in the beginning, but after four to five months, oftentimes the heavy chemotherapy is completed, and then a woman goes on to complete one year of Herceptin. During that completion of one year of Herceptin, there is no marrow toxicity from the Herceptin, and therefore any reconstruction that needed to be completed can be done while the patient is on Herceptin, and therefore not need to wait until that year of Herceptin has been completed. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.